In this video, how to easily create a macOS installer drive. This video is sponsored by our friends over at MacPaw, who produce Clean My Mac X, a great way to clean up, protect, and speed up your Mac with just a few clicks. Click the link down below in the description to visit cleanmymac.com for a free download. Special thanks to MacPaul for sponsoring this video. How's it going ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Jeff Benjamin with 9 to 5 mac In my hand, I have a USB flash drive. What's special about this drive though is that it has both USB Type-C connectivity and USB Type-A connectivity. So it's gonna work with newer Macs and older Macs pretty much no problem. You also wanna make sure that this drive has at least 16 gigabytes of storage. Now, the first step is to download macOS and you can just search for macOS in the Mac App Store. In this case, macOS Mojave. Uh, you just click the Get button. It will download macOS Mojave installer to your applications folder. And this will take some time depending on your connection to the internet, how fast your connection is. So just be patient throughout this process. Uh, if you're running Mac OS High Sierra, your download situation may look a little, well, it will look a little different than you see here because I am already running Mojave, but the end result is still the same. You're still going to download the Mac OS installer uh, so that we can take the next step. Now I'm gonna speed this process up because you can see the estimated time is about 41 minutes or so. Uh, we're gonna speed this up so you're not sitting here waiting for this thing to complete so we can get through it as soon as possible. So if you check the link down below in the description or on the post on 9to5Mac, you'll find the link to the application we're going to use to create the USB installer. Previously, we used the manual method, but we're gonna enlist the help of an application called Disk Drill, which makes it super easy. So once you see the macOS installer window pop up, you can just go into the menu bar and then select Quit and that will close out the installer. Now you wanna open up Disk Drill, which hopefully you've installed. This is the application that we're going to use to create the USB drive. And the beauty of this is that you can do all this with a basic license, which is free. So super easy, super simple, and free. What's better than that? Now the next step is to simply connect your USB flash drive to your Mac. So in my case, I have the USB Type-C connection for my MacBook Pro, which makes it super easy, no dongles or anything like that needed. And then you should see the drive recognized within Disk Drill. So you can see it pop up there. And then click Create Boot Drive and select Mac OS Installer. And then you should see it automatically point to the installer location. If not, you can always locate installer on disk. Then click where it says Use as Source, and now, you just select your drive, the SanDisk USB 3.0, click Make Bootable. It's gonna give you a warning saying everything on the disk will be erased. So make sure there's nothing you need on the disk and then click Yes. And that's pretty much all that there is to it. It's as easy and as simple as it can be. It's a complete GUI. Uh, so you don't have to use any terminal commands like you do on the other method that we like to show you guys. This is pretty much as simple as it gets. And I've sped this up, obviously. It will take a little bit longer than this, uh, but you can see it's copying over the installer files. And once it does that, it'll create that installer. And that's it. Now you're, you're good. That is it. It's over. So now you just click where it says, okay, let's do it. And then you can connect that drive to your Mac to test it out. You can reboot, hold the option key and boot up and see if you can get to the installer uh, via that USB drive. So we're done here, folks. So all you need to do now is to grab your USB drive, connect it to a powered off Mac, hold the option key. And then as you continue holding that key, press the power button to power on your Mac like this. Okay, continue holding the option key and then hopefully you see this selection menu pop up and now you select install macOS Mojave or whatever version of macOS you used for the installer. So again, just exercise a little bit of patience as it boots to the installer. I'm gonna speed it up a little bit here and in just a few, you will see the macOS utilities which allows you to reinstall macOS. But the point I want to just reiterate is that this is a super easy method for creating that macOS installer. Uh, you don't have to fool with terminal commands or any of that. It completely walks you through the entire process. And there we go. Couldn't be easier. So we have macOS utilities, which allows you to install macOS. 
as a reminder, I wanted to thank our friends over at Mac Paul, sponsors of this video. Clean My Mac X is a great way to keep your Mac running at optimal performance. And for someone like me who works with video often, it's especially useful for quickly identifying large files and getting rid of those with ease. Click the link down below in the description to visit cleanmymac.com and try it out today. If you want to use this tutorial, be sure to find this drill linked down below in the description and let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section as well. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.